The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Let's go to uh, Dell in Texas. Hey, Dell, what's going on? Hey, Tom. How Thanks you doing, man? Call. Great. Thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Appreciate it. I love your show. I just stumbled upon it probably, I don't know, maybe a month ago. And how did you find us? I found you on YouTube. YouTube. That's a beautiful thing. Well, we appreciate you growling and prowling with us. Welcome to the Tiger family, man. Wow. I like it. Totally. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body. Respect your mind and respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 570, NASDAQ's down 195, S&Ps are down 72, gold contract up $58, trading at 1,321 an ounce. Silver up 41 cents, $17.76 an ounce. Platinum up 18 at 9.84 an ounce. Copper down five pennies at 2.11 a pound. Light sweet crude off $2.50, trading at $47.60 a barrel. Bonds, the 10 year note up 1.17 ticks, 132.11. 30 year bond up three ticks, up three points, 24 ticks, 169.27. King dollar, king dollar up 2,000 ticks, trading at 95.58. The euro is trading at $1.11, and the yen is at 102. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get Britain voted to leave the UK. Bottom line, you get volatility in the marketplace. Your SPY is trading at 203.83. Right at the May 19th swing area, which is the 202.78. This is the ABC structure that we've been in for quite a while. It's down. You got volume behind the move. Bottom line, folks, is that this S&P, yeah, it's down pretty good right now. But guess what? We're going down into the February and January lows. I suspect it's going to take a bit, but that's where this market's going. You're blowing out volume out here today. You've just taken out, uh, you've done 238 million shares. You've just taken out anyone and everyone that bought anything from the 18th of March. That's on your S&P. We go over into the NDX 100, same setup in the NDX 100. This is what you have in the NDX 100. You're down $4.30, same setup. The May 19th swing point there, which is 104.54. Right now you're at 104.47. You get volume out here of uh, 53 million versus the swing point of 27 million. The NDX 100 also is setting up to get down into the 94 to 97 area, which is the February 8th swing low. We go over to the bond market. What do we have with bonds? We go into notes first. What you have with notes is this. It's free money, folks. That's where this whole market's going. 10-year note. 10-year note has gone as high as 134.07. Monster volume. We've done 2.8 million contracts. You've taken out swing points. You've done all of the above uh, with volume, mind you. Okay, so bottom line is that we're going not only higher, we're going a lot higher. Um, the yield on the 10 year right now uh, is trade is 1.5. We go to the 30 year, we take a thir look at the 30 year. 30 year was up six points last night. Uh, right now, we're up uh, three and a half points, almost four points. You're out. Uh, 169.28. This little baby bottom line had hit 173. We're going to go to 176, 178, uh, all of the above. The yield on the 30 year right now in the U.S., we're trading out at 2.4 on the 30 year. Pretty amazing. Gold contract. What do we do with gold? Uh, gold contract was up over $110 last night. Right now, 
You're trading up. We are up $58. You've done 524,000 contracts. Bottom line, you're over, over the highs. You have volume. You have price spread. You have all of the above. Uh, this was in an ABC structure on the way up anyway. Uh, 1428 is the next number that we that this thing wants to go to. We hit 1362 last night. Right now, you're at 1321. The XAU, XAU and HUI, same type of setups. You're pushing into the highs. You have ABC structures on the way up. Right now, the uh, XAU is trading at 9405. That's taken out the swings, taking it out with volume. Gold Bugs Index, same type of setup. Gold Bugs Index is up 14 bucks. You're at 239. That's also a monster ABC up. And these, the XAU and the HUI, you talk about uh, monster ABCs up. They're huge, folks. King Dollar, let's go take a look at King Dollar. King Dollar caught a bid as did gold. King Dollar got up to a price point of uh, 96.70. Uh, bottom line is that, uh, you know, we'll see whether it can make it by this. Uh, um, and it stay over this 96.11. If, if you stay over the, uh, well, actually, we're at 95.51 right now. It has to get back inside the 96.11 uh, to get to higher price. The XLE, XLE, the energy, there's the ABC structures uh, all over the place on the way down, folks. Uh, the XLE right now, uh, down 243. You're at 19 million shares. You're coming into the lowest swing point that had 19. I suspect that's going to build a little bit of cause to jump the creek. The XLF, the financials, they're getting toasted and roasted. Uh, that's breaking swing points, monster volume. The swing points that we're talking about in the XLF, that's all the banking structures, of course. The June 16th swing point, that low is 22.38. Had 58 million shares, you'd blown that away with 100 million shares. So uh, if you haven't test drove the Tiger's Den, folks, great time to do it. You can get in there uh, 30 days, absolutely free. We were in there all last night uh, trading as the uh, Brexit vote was uh, taking place. Great place if you really want to uh, get a good camaraderie going with tigers and tigresses. Um, test, test it out for 30 days. This volatility is going to continue, folks. What I do expect you are, are going to have, yes, we're going to get some bounces, yes, but guess what? This volume is monster, the move is monster, and this thing wants lower price. If we go over to the DAX and you take a look at the DAX in Germany, what you're going to see is this. The DAX closed down 700 bucks. The DAX, the swing low on the DAX is 88.99 right now you're at 95.57 more than likely what we'll see is that that'll gap down uh there either monday or tuesday the footsie uh the footsie uh was down 199 bucks uh you broke swing lows you, you did it with volume the, the footsie will be right back down the footsie act actually operated pretty good but the footsie's gonna i suspect go right back down to this uh 58 88 area uh the highs of the low of February on the FTSE folks is 56.72 and last night we hit 57.88 we go over to the uh, silver contract what we have with silver is this silver you know silver had a nice bid but we need actually more juice inside silver uh, the the swing point in silver is 1806 we hit 1837 it has the volume but it didn't hold that swing so silver it's important for it to hold that swing get up into that level once again, and I do expect that's exactly what you're going to get. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We come right back. Dow's down 605. Nasdaq is off 202. S&Ps are down 77. We're going to be right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. 
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow down 632. You get the Nasdaq down 207. S&Ps are down 80. And, you know, uh, last night what we did have, folks, is that the uh, E-minis went down limit. Our down limit last night was uh, 1999. And uh, that's, uh, you know, the last time that uh, the E-minis had gone down limit was during the 2008 uh, debacle. Um, bottom line is that Right now, we're at uh, 2024. Uh, the, um, the limit, I don't expect we're going to be down limit uh, out here uh, today, but you're going to see a lot more selling coming into this close out here. Uh, down limit today would be 1957. It's not going to get that. Uh, I, don't, I just don't see that happen. What I do see, though, is that you can get a test um, of the, uh, the, the next leg down is like 2016, and right now we're at uh, 2024. Um, uh, the markets in general, Compared to the European markets, folks, uh, you know, I know this lo looks pretty bad. It's getting worse as we come into the close. Um, the Dow right now is down 3.6 percent. The Nasdaq's off four. S&Ps are down uh, three and a half. Bottom line, folks, just if you're a long-term investor, get your stops in because um, this this market, the next leg wants to take it down to those February lows. That's that's how this thing's set up. And the February lows, if you think this is bad, the February lows are a long long way from where we are right now. We're at 2043 in the cash S&P. That February low is down uh, 200 points from here. Well, the high of the low is down 200 points, okay? The low is laying out there at uh, 1810, you know? And what we will get, we'll get a decent indication of how the European markets come into that low. If you wanna see something, how something comes fast and furious into it, which we've been watching in a, in a huge way, and this is where the probability goes much higher that we're gonna be there, is this. If you go over, uh, if you're watching Tiger TV right now, I've, I've just brought up the Nikkei. Nikkei last night was down 7.92%, uh, and guess what? The February low in the Nikkei is 14,865. Well. It gets, this is about as bizarre as it gets. You know where we went, folks? Eight, 14,864. And we did it with good volume. We did it with 2.6 billion versus 3.4 billion. Now, this is what, okay, so I'll give you the yin and the yang of this, which is pretty cool for the bulls. The high volume swing low that I've been talking about is the February swing low. The Nikkei is the first one that has hit it. You can see that high volume swing low was 3.4 billion in February. 
We came down and we came down with 2.6. Now that's not enough, okay? That's not enough to break it. And what that is, is that we'll see if we, if we build cause, meaning you go sideways, and we'll get a better understanding about a counter trend bounce, then it'll be like, hey, that, that February low may, may hold. That's the bullish side. Now, the bearish side. The bearish side goes like this. The bearish side is that if we jump the creek, then we get some big problems. Um, I, I don't expect the Nikkei to jump the creek right away, and this is why. Because from May of 2013, that's where the Nikkei is also getting some strength as it had come off the bottom. You know, um, Our own equities, if we go over to the SPY and we just take a look at the SPY for a second, what you're going to see if I put this on a monthly basis, I'll put it on a weekly basis first. What you're going to see on the weekly basis is that we are set up, we're 203, we're set up for that 181 level. Each and every time that we're downtown, we get volume down there. The last time that, just to give you an idea, it was trying to make a high with 379 million shares. And then we come downtown with 600 million. You have a high volume swing low that's laying out there with 1.6 billion as well as 846 million. So um, bottom line is that you're gonna see some high volatility. The volatility is gonna continue out here. And uh, inside the currency markets, about, it's about as intense as you can get. Uh, metals, metals want higher price. Uh, this is gonna be free money, folks. And when I say free money, of course, uh, nothing is free in life, period. Um, what I specifically mean is that you're gonna see rates go down dramatically. Right now, our 10-year is at 1.5. You go to Germany, and they're already in minus negative rates on the 10-year. Forget Switzerland. Switzerland's at a half a percent on the 10-year, meaning negative. Uh, these are going to get a lot lower. Why? Because they're going to have to throw so much money. They had to throw uh, $358 billion today, uh, the central bank in the United uh, Kingdom, uh, at the market. To, to keep that thing liquid. They, I think it was, uh, it, it was 358 billion US dollars, uh, 250 million uh, euro, uh, billion euro rather. Half a trillion dollars, a, a, a one third of a trillion dollars. That's how intense it is. Some of the higher volume stocks out here that we have, and volume's gonna be huge right across the board out here today, folks. Bank of America's down a buck. You get Apple down $3. You get uh, Facebook down 290. Um, the J.P. Morgan, the banks uh, are going to have a tough time. The banks have broken B points, broken swing points, all have volume. They want, they want lower price. The, um, right now, J.P. Morgan is down 4.49, trading at uh, 59.56. And that is on its way down to the high volume swing low uh, in February also. Uh, that high volume swing low in February, it's February 11th to be specific, is $53 to $52.90. And right now, JP Morgan is trading at $59.52. Let's go to uh, Kevin in California. Hey, Kevin, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Doing pretty well. Um, I'm enjoying all the, the, the craziness in the market today. This is really interesting. Yeah, it certainly is. <laughs> I mean, we're witnessing history. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's no doubt. That would be history of the Brexit move and not, I, you know, I, I, I think markets have moved like this quite a bit. But, yeah, it's, it's a good trading market. There's no doubt. Yeah. Well, I, speaking of that, I want to ask you about uh, what do you think about commodity stocks in general? Specific thing, specifically things like, um, you know, U.S. Steel, Freeport McMoran, things that have heavy base metals um, exposure. Uh, Vale, you know, V-A-L-E, um, and also ag stocks like Mosaic and Potash and things like that. In this environment where the dollar is really screaming up, um, those seem to be getting hit a bit, and uh, I'm curious what you think. I think that the, uh, let me, I'm going to separate the, the two that you just talked about, right? Sure, um, yeah. U.S. Oh, US Steel, um, you know, if we take a look at it, what you're going to see, is that uh, you're down on volume, you're at 15 bucks, man, you know, this thing wants to pull back somewhere about like $12, okay? Um, there's gonna be problems. Uh, Valley, we go take a look at Valley. Uh, Valley's hanging up there, okay? You know, it's only down 44 cents, you're at $4.50. Uh, I like that setup. 
Uh, Mosaic, I happen to own. The potash stocks are holding up pretty good. You know, you're, you're only down $1.20. Uh, it's pulled back with lighter volume. You had a higher spike yesterday. Um, the, so if you're trying to go somewhere to buy, um, the potash stock's not bad. Uh, I wouldn't be buying U.S. Steel. Like, you know, last night when we were in the den, folks, uh, one of the Tigers, uh, you know, we, we were talking, and what he was saying, this is 1 o'clock in the morning, is we knew that gold was up by almost 100 bucks then. It was, we were saying, okay, are the gold equity is going to be up in the morning? You know, because we've seen it both ways. I mean, in 2008, gold was down, the equity's down, everything was down. Just stay right with us, Kevin. We'll be coming right back, all right? Okay. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You have the uh, Dow Industrials down 628. NASDAQ is off two, 207. You get the uh, S&Ps down 80. Gold's up 58. Silver's up 41. We'll get right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Today, many commodities are trading at relative lows. And now you can take advantage with EverBank's new limited-time, five-year, market-safe currency comeback CD. This indexed and U.S. dollar-denominated CD offers 100% principal protection and is based on the equally rated performance of currencies of Australia, Canada, Chile, Mexico, and South Africa. These five countries are especially rich in commodities, and the respective currencies are poised to do well should commodity prices begin to recover. Keep in mind that no APY, a periodic rate of interest, is paid on the CD. Don't miss out on this innovative new financial opportunity. CDs must be opened and funded by the upcoming July 14th deadline. To apply online and learn more about the CD, including product terms and disclosures, visit everbank.com forward slash TFNN now. This advertisement is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the uh, Dow down uh, 626. You get the NASDAQ off 208. S&Ps are down 80. We're talking with Kevin uh, from California. We're talking about uh, base metals and agricultural stocks. The way that I would trade these, Kevin, is... Most of the ones that I believe, not all of them, I just pulled a few more up, but if they have high volume swing lows at uh, February 11th and January, mm -hmm. that's where they want to go, man. Mm, okay. You know, that's, that's, uh, if, as you look at the whole market, that's kind of how to look at the market. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, some of them do here. Uh, I mean, I'm, I've got Agrium up as, uh, at the moment, AGU, and that's kind of interesting. Too. Ag Agrium's a good stock, man. You know? Yeah, well, I, it's coming back it down into that, see that big high volume 
day uh, back in um, late May, it looks like. Uh, let me see. Here. Yeah, no, no, I, yeah. I like it. I've, I've owned it. We sold. I sold it a couple weeks ago, and I'd, I'd buy Agrium back. I'd buy Agrium back at like eighty-seven bucks. You know, it's done yeah. everything. So this is what the difference is, folks. That what you're hearing off me. The difference is that an Agrium, a uh, Mosaic, uh, Potash, they have already tested the swing lows of October of 2014, and they did it with lighter volume, and they had strength off that low. Okay, so that is saying that they're in much better shape than the rest of the market. And more than likely what that is about on a, on a longer term basis is that, you know, it's gonna be free money out here. And, you know, when I say free money, it's just gonna be very low interest rates for long periods of time. And what that's going to do is that that is going to continue to put a bid under hard assets. Hard assets, folks, are where it's at. If you're thinking of doing something, whether it's in the stock market or outside of the stock market, hard assets are where it's at, okay? Because guess what? It's never the end of the world. This isn't gonna be the end of the world, but what this is, is that low rates for long periods of time are gonna make hard assets worth more money. And they're, they're worth more money today, they're gonna be worth more money tomorrow. And, you know, for some reason, um, Many folks will not take a risk, okay? If you're willing to take a risk, you know, don't, take, you know, don't jump over the cliff. But bottom line, if you want to take a risk with some of your money, I'd risk it on hard assets, man. So. Well, and don't you think, too, that with the, uh, the, the market heading down here, you know, the indices, and the dollar heading up, that that really puts some pressure on, on the Fed, kind of not to uh, allow that dollar to get too strong, given what it could do to, you know, Dow stocks and anything that... that uh, that, that requires a, a currency translation to do well. Correct? Yeah, I suspect the dollar, you know, the dollar already failed today, uh, but I suspect it's gonna fail. You know, it, it'll test the high because it has so much volume today, okay? But it's already, you know, basically, it, it couldn't hold the swing point of 95, uh, 98, you know? So it, I suspect because of the volume, it'll test this 96, uh, 70 again, but I think that's it. I don't. I don't I, I see all of these currencies going south, and it's going to have to do with the amount of money that central banks have to continue to put in the marketplace. And our own Federal Reserve, you know, they, yes, they want to put, up, put rates up, but guess what? They're not going to be able to put up rates up. And even if our country, you know, I see, I, I, I think the economy is really good, actually, okay? Where, where the supply and demand curve comes in is this, folks, okay? When you have rates overseas, that are in the negative. It's a very easy way that big sovereign countries as well as big foundations, what they do is that they turn around and they're gonna put their money into US bonds. And what that does immediately is that that brings the demand up dramatically. And guess what? No matter, we only have a certain supply of bonds. And the, the supply of bonds that we actually have are going down. They're not going up because that our, our debt has actually gone down versus going up, you know? So there's less bonds that are being put out in the marketplace. So when you have that scenario, and then that says that, hey, guess what? There's more cash chasing, you know, the bonds, which keeps it at a lower rate, you know, so. Hey, well, thank you, Tom. I appreciate your help. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Okay, thanks. Let's go to Charlie in Framingham. Hey, Charlie, what's going on, brother? Wow, that was quick. Good to get get in here quick. Hey, Good. it's a beautiful thing, man. Okay, I'm long TVIX, and I'm wondering if uh, because I haven't, I just started listening to the show. So uh, do you think this volatility will continue and it'll get up to like 215? That's a high there. Let's take a look. So TVIX, this is the velocity two times shot um, VIX, short term VIX. Okay, so you're you're up. Oh, I see what's happening. So you're up 96 cents. It's uh, three bucks, and you're looking for uh, 370. Yeah, yeah. You're pushing with volume, man. I mean, this is pushing with volume. You're you're at 330. You're pushing into a swing point of 370. You've done 142 million versus uh, 127. Yeah, you can get that. You can get all of that, man. You know, and the way. You know, th these are always dangerous, folks, because, uh, you know, uh, this is up, what is this? This is up like 40% today, or 50%, right? <laughs> yeah. You gotta love it, man. Um, yeah. Yeah, but listen, man, 
You know, you, you got to make hay when hay's be being made, man. Hay's being made right now, so I'd stay right there, Charlie. And, you know, sure. you might want to... What, what ended up happening... Let me just see this for a second. One, two, ten, three, seventy, one, sixty, two, thirty, three, thirty, three, ninety. 160, 230, 330, 390. There it is, 415. You might get the 415 out of it, man. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, okay. 4, 415 is a swing high from the uh, 29th. This, is thing, this thing's not going to be over, like, this thing's going to be going on for months, folks, okay? We're going to have volatility in the marketplace. More than likely, we'll come out of nowhere many times, you know. And as I said just a little bit earlier, our markets are down, but nothing like Europe was down. You know, you had the CAT down 8%, the FTSE was down 3.5%, the DAX was down 6.5%, Spain was down 12.5 points, 12.5%, you know, so. Wow. Yeah, and it, listen, I don't think it's going to be a one-way, but I think you do have action on Monday. I think, I think we're gonna have a, you're going to have a follow-through uh, here. There'll be a million, um, you know, news releases and everything else, and they'll try to halt the downdraft and that's you know that's the bureaucracy's job to do that folks okay to make it an orderly decline um you know but i think you still got problems what what happened today now this is you're going to hear this over the weekend what happened today and this is serious business in the in the close of the oil market today um there was there's some problems and what it was the oil market closes at uh, 220 uh, 230 220 i think uh where the bottom line is that uh, oil gave it up and it gave it up 53 cents. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, folks, okay? But going into a close, an orderly close with uh, the amount of oil contracts that trade, that, uh, that very well could be a problem. I think the larger, that's one problem. Another larger problem, Charlie, that probably will keep this volatility going for you is this. Now, we haven't heard anything thus far, folks, about funds blowing up. The way that the bond market traded last night and traded today, I expect that what you're going to see the next three or four days out here, there's going to be a few large funds that blew up. And what blew up means what they, they literally lost every, all their money. And that's going to be a problem, you know, because the bond move was extraordinary. Just to give you an idea, uh, you know, last night when we were trading in the Tiger's Den, I mean, this was about as wild as you can get. The 30-year bond went from 165 up to 173. Well, just to get you that, that's an $8,000 move. And what happens, folks, is that you're only putting $4,000 up, okay? Bottom line, those big players wouldn't get a margin call as quick as someone else. Cooking, brother. Thanks, Tom. Have a great weekend, safe weekend, Charlie. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund is currently offering four-year first mortgages on many of the fully renovated properties that it has purchased. The first mortgages are third-party appraised with a maximum loan-to-value ratio of 70%, providing a secured investment that pays a fixed return of 5% annually, which works out to a monthly income of more than $416 per $100,000 investment with your principal intact and secured. These four-year first mortgages are perfect for anyone looking for a secured investment that provides monthly income much like a CD. 
For more information, email TigerFund at TFNN.com or click on the Tiger Real Estate Opportunity Fund banner along the right side of the TFNN.com homepage or call our office directly at 877-518-9190. There's a limited supply, so act now. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. And, folks, if you'd like to test uh, either one of my newsletters, a great time to do it. You can come over to our website at TFNN. Now, as you go to the website, you're going to see newsletters. If you'd like to test drive the gold report, you go under investments newsletters. You can test drive the gold report 30 days, absolutely free. If you'd like to test drive my daily newsletter, which is market insights, you hit trading newsletters. You can test drive that for two weeks, absolutely free. Uh, volume wise out here in the indices is going to be a monster, no doubt. Um, you get uh, already, we're already at 1 billion on the NYSE. On the NASDAQ composite, you're at uh, 2.3 billion. Uh, bottom line, the composite itself has been saying for a long period of time that this thing uh, not only wants lower price, uh, but, uh, you know, it has been the weakest indice. Now, what you very well could have, when I was just talking with Charlie from Framingham, the, the way this market is set up right now, we could actually jump the creek on Monday morning. And what jumping the creek is, is this. Uh, the composite right now is, it is down $194. You're at 47.15, and that's where the creek is set up. This, the creek is set up at 46.84. Uh, you know, you're not that far away from the swing low at the lows, which is 4,300. You know, yeah, you're 400 bucks, but guess what? We're down 200 right now. So that's laying out uh, right there, and it's dangerous, of course, that it's coming into the, those lows, and that's where it's closing out, particularly when you're coming into a Monday in the summer. If we go over to the um, cash S&P, the SPX, you're going to say, see the same type of setup. Um, that, the, the number that we're looking at there is, um, actually, we're, we're right at it. Yeah, 2033. 2033 would be the number. Um, you know, you're coming down that volume, and there's not, th this is what you also have, folks, okay? You don't have um, a lot of support here underneath it. And the reason being is that because we, when we went up from the lows, the last time we tested the lows in February, and we went straight up, you know, we went February 11th, uh, you're, you're trading at uh, 1847, it was a straight line move going all the way up to 2036, and that's where we are right now. You know, so what you do have is that you can come down fast, furious, all of the above. And as you, if you're, if you're one that you think you, you're coming into a bottom, you know, if we bring up the trend, what you're going to see is this. Now, this is pretty amazing. The trend is at 1.84. Now, at 1.84, folks, that means that there's still zero fear in the marketplace. I mean zero, okay? When you get a market like this, that trend, if people were getting out of positions, that trend should be running 2.7 to 3. If we go over and we take a look at the tick, what you have out here right now at the tick, we've only had a minus 1187. That is also saying that there's zero fear, that people are paying zero attention to the marketplace, okay? Um, that is a big problem for bulls. Huge problem for bulls, okay? Um, so, you know, when you come into a bottom, uh, even a short-term bottom, what you will see is that you'll see the trend blow out to big numbers. You're going to see the downtick, 
get up to big numbers, um, and we're not even close to that. And you can kind of tell how the market's been trading that there's no fear. And, you can, and listen, I, I don't blame the bulls because the bottom line is that this market has continued to come back, come back, come back. On, and that's the first side. On a fundamental side, you know, I'm out here saying there's going to be free money too. And guess what? There's going to be free money. The correlation there, however, is that we'll see how it hits this low that was generated out here from the... Um, February lows. The thing that's pretty wild is that when I look at markets, you know, of course, everyone's going to blame the United Kingdom for leaving, that the market goes down. The market always wanted to get down there, folks, okay? Uh, you know, these high volume swing lows, the high volume swing highs, they always get tested. There's always another, there's always a reason why they're going there. I mean, okay, guess what? There'll be another reason, you know, uh, after we hit that, that we either bounce higher or we bounce lower. You know, if we do go look at the aspect on, on a little bit longer basis um, as to what can happen here, if we bring this back, and I'll bring the SPY back a bit, um, you know, the, the problem would be if we break this high volume swing low, which goes all the way back to 2014, then, you know, and that's why I say if you're a long-term investor, just get your stops in, you know. Because when you get your, st it, okay, so here's the, here's the yin and the yang of putting stops in where you are. The yin would be that if we continue lower, you're not gonna lose money. The yang would be if we go higher, you're not gonna make more money. Well, if I've learned anything in my life, you can always make plenty of money. You're gonna make hundreds, thousands, millions, whatever you're gonna make. It, all, it only depends on how much do you lose making it, folks, okay? So if you don't lose money, at the end of the day, you're going to make more money than you lose. So when you're taking a risk, what you should always think of first is that how much can I lose? Not how much you can win. If you think of how much you can lose, it's a better ball game. And in the market right now, guess what? You're still at highs. You know, the bottom line is that, you know, to me, this wouldn't be a... a a large problem. You know, we, we just went in the course of uh, seven years, we went from 666 and you're still at 2036. So you're still at highs. Don't think about what you had yesterday. Think about what you have in your pocket right now. That, and that would be, that would make it easier to put a stop in. That's my point more than anything. Uh, we go over and we take a look at the um, good old Apple. Let's take a look at Apple. You know, so Apple is uh, only down two and a half dollars. That, that's going after a high volume swing low of uh, 89. We're at 93 right now. The uh, Tesla, TSLA, Tesla. Tesla's down uh, all of three bucks. But now Tesla will more than likely get another gap down because the gap down uh, 163 is, is a game on Tesla. Yeah, Google. So let's see, Google. Oh, so here you go. So now Google, thanks to, is Google's going to be pretty cool, folks, to give us information of will we break the February lows? So this is what it is. Google is a confirmed ABC down. Your, your A point on Google is 729, which was the high of June 9th, 729. Your B point is 688. So that's uh, what? That's 12... 30, 41. Your C point is uh, 701, so you get 6, uh, what did I say, 41, so 660. You're at 679 now. Your high volume swing low, and this is so weird when this sets up like this because it happens many times. Your high volume swing low from February is 663. So that's where Google's heading. Now, if Google breaks that, what is that going to say? Well, that's going to say that when our own S&Ps come down there, it could be a huge problem. Because you remember something, Google got down there in February, did a monster counter trend bounce. We went from 663 all the way up to 769. So you went up 106 points. And guess what? You're coming down and you are coming into this area and you're coming in with some real volume. So. Google's going to be a big heads up, and I suspect uh, over the weekend, folks, many of you will actually find other equities that will give you a clue as to uh, where the market wants to go um, as you look at these high-volume swing lows that were generated out here 
in February. You stay right there, we'll be coming right back. Dow Industrials right now are down 544. NASDAQ is off 186. S&Ps are down 70. We're gonna be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is off uh, 523. You get the NASDAQ off uh, 181. S&Ps are down uh, 67. And uh, as we come into this close, uh, bottom line is that you, you get a, a small bounce happening, which was expected. Uh, what that is, of course, is that that's uh, folks uh, that have been uh, shot the market. Uh, they want to clean it up uh, before they close out, uh, take the bread, and that means you get a buyback. And that's what's important to understand, too. Um, you know, that being said, I suspect uh, at six minutes left, you know, the futures are open uh, to quarter past four, but you'll see uh, one more little uh, sell-off. Uh, not, nothing heavy, but uh, most of that is done right now. They clean it up. You go home until Sunday night, folks. That's how this whole thing uh, is going to be shaken out. And, of course, uh, what you do have is that the bonds, if we go over the 30-year bond, the 30-year bond, folks, it's just amazing uh, what the type of movement that we had out here. This 30-year bond... Right now, it's up a full four points. We're at 170.08. And if you, we take a look at this and you put this 30-year bond on a continuous contract, what you're going to see is this. Uh, you're already, you have been at all-time highs. Uh, we're going to close at all-time highs uh, this week. Uh, and um, the case can be made 
So this is a this is pretty wild actually. So the real question is going to be yeah. So your A point is 127. Your B is up there at 167. So you get 40 bucks. Your C is at yeah, 187. You know you get a 187 uh, 30 year bond, and we have only hit 173 so far. You know, so you know notes bonds they want higher price. That is uh, going to say lower yields, lower yields uh, in spades. Um, right across the board. Um, XAU, the HUI, they want higher price, and that's going to be all about, uh, of course, just, uh, you know, free money. Uh, money that's less. Uh, the, the currencies themselves have some monster problems, folks. Uh, bottom line is that the central banks themselves, they just continue to push money uh, into the marketplace. If you saw what happened to the pound last night, this is the biggest move since 1985 in the pound. The pound went from $1.50 to $1.32. That is, that, that is just incredible. You know? uh, now, what the pound has also done, and has been doing, by the way, okay? The bottom line is that the pound uh, has been trying to break out its lows since 2009. And guess what? Uh, it got down to them, and we'll find out uh, next week if it does basically break them out. Uh, 135.03 is the number. We hit 135.29 today. Um, you know, if I bring this back and we put this on a much larger um, chart, uh, it looks to me that, number one, it's going to break it, and number two, it looks like it's going to go back to the 1985 price point in the pound, and that is going to be 123 to a dollar. So guess what? You want to go to the UK? You want to go to London, folks? You want to go have a good time? Great time to do it. Go visit Knightsbridge. Gorgeous place, no doubt about it. Uh, you start swapping some dollars out for pounds. And uh, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna feel very rich over there as the dollar, as the pound is trading at a buck twenty uh, to a dollar. The uh, ten-year, same type of setup. Uh, oil out here. What's gonna be interesting uh, to see on uh, next week is that can oil uh, catch a bid because of the dollar? Or, in fact, is that gonna be um, all about the aspect that things may slow down a bit? Well, that's 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 a toss-up at this particular point. What did happen at the close out here today inside the oil market is that there was monster volatility. I mean monster volatility. Uh, so oil right now is at 47.67, and it looks like the, uh, this contract here, you know, does want to run down to the 44 uh, to $43 area. Uh, don't forget, folks, if you do want to test drive any of my newsletters, come over to our website at TFNN. Uh, you can test drive them absolutely free. You can get the gold report, 30 days, absolutely free. Uh, Market insights, two weeks. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Look forward to speaking right back here, Monday morning, 8 o'clock. Go get them, folks. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is TFNN.